how the fun begins. That's what you guys said about every single fucking area that we go to. Bang smash, go crash. Elevator fall down, go boom. We made it to the ruin or whatever that we were like that was discovered underneath or whatever. It certainly seems that way. Come this way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Come, don't linger. Okay, I'll linger if I want, bitch. Although the game doesn't like when you linger, it likes to give me red, red, uh, red screens of death. I'm not gonna waste the tinder on that. I'm not gonna light some shit in a room that's already got some lights. I didn't pick up any lantern oil, did I? I did not. Gotta love when I have to move all this shit out of the way. Ooh. Let me just get all this shit out of the way. Alright. Doors open, main. Into the darkness. I have very little oil. Uh. I'm like, is something chasing me? I'm like waiting to see. I'm like, I, I get that the scary music played, but nothing happened. There's definitely something down here, for sure. Getting closer, somehow. Guess who's out of oil? Guess who found some oil? Good fucking timing. Definitely gonna be some guys around here. Oh, a hammer. Yo, to defend yourself. Stone hammer. Okay. That's to escape jail. Everybody knows that. Going down this hallway does not seem like a great idea. <laughs> I don't really want to go in there. I just wanted to see if it was open. I'm going to go the other way. Got my sa My sanity is deteriorating. Hide.
wait for it to stabilize a little bit. I should have went in the room with the candle. I'm gonna do that real quick. I don't know if standing still by a, a candle actually helps. I'm trying to see what my uh, my things are right now. It's in dot 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 mode. Okay. Come show my brain on low sanity. I mean, I think we're almost there. I don't know what low sanity actually is like, other than being blurry as fuck. All right. I'm, I'm, I was waiting to see if it would actually help. I don't think it's helping. This way. I'm hoping that'll help. I need more freaking things to light stuff. Everything freaking. I mean, more tinder boxes would help too. Wait, why is it letting me grab this bed? I can move it, okay. Someone's coming. You say someone's coming, but is someone actually? Hmm. I'm just curious if there's something down here I'm supposed to do. Why well, you can move the bed, you know? Dude, everything is so blurry right now, this sucks. Absolutely sucks. Uh, oh, I'm out of oil. That shit, that shit literally just ran out. Well, time to, time to die. Can't light that one. Well, I don't know which way that dude went. Found some oil. That's good. Damn it. Very corroded and weak. Does that mean I can have them break it or do I have to break it? Checkpoint. Or Where something. Is she? Where did she go? <laughs> no. I'll never no, tell. No. You're just making things worse. Look, this is no place for a young girl all by herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. There's no telling. It's even darker when it goes into those scenes. So it's like, I can't see shit. So I'm letting it just play out before I try to move. Ooh, there's a thing. I think I know what to do. I already see what this is going to be. Yup, we can hammer and chisel through this door over here. The question is... Alright, well, here we go. We're in, boys. Can't... Uh, oh, it's an oil refill! Let's go! One, a full worth refill, huh? I mean, full or no, it's worth it. It's worth it. Hell yeah, we're in, baby. So wait, okay, so the hammer and chisel went together once I used it. I still have it, so we may need it again. Okay, so that was nice for some oil. It wasn't necessarily what we needed it for altogether, but it was good to have. Now the real question is... Where'd the guy that was up here go? Is he over here? Yes, he is. He 
He's right outside. Uh-oh. Stay hidden. Stay in the corner. As much as I want to pick up these things right now, we got to stay hidden right now. This too shall pass. Let yourself be calm, Daniel-san. Yes, closing the doors behind me, I've learned. He's learning. I don't know where, which way he went, but... Hopefully, he goes away. He goes away. Where is he? I don't see him right outside, but I feel like he's still right out there. The sound makes me think that he's still like right out there. I don't know how long I'm going to go for yet, Martin. A lot of people keep asking. I'm not sure yet. I'll at least stop at a reasonable reasonable spot. I have no reason to stop early for any reason. It just yeah, the music finally stopped. The music stopped, which makes me think, okay, we're good. And just in case, I did another thing when I closed the door. All right. But mother, Hurry, child. you must go. Find Gabriel, the outrider, and tell him to alert the king's men. No, you come too. Yeah, I might need to stand up and stretch. Please, though. we don't have time to make the hole any wider. But someone is coming. Hurry, I'll cover the hole with the bed. Everything will be fine. I promise you. Everything will not be fine, child. But you know what? A mother is supposed to comfort her child. But just know that everything will not be okay. Oh snap! I found a hole. I found a hole. I found a hole. Motherfucking hole in the hole. Mm-hmm. Well. I don't see why not. Oh, it's too narrow. Can I ship it? I'd make a wonderful father. You don't have to tell me, son. Cha boy! We out of there. See ya! Ain't no reason to hang around here no more. I'm out. Peace out to that area. Well, that part of that area. There's still we're still in the prison area. We're in the north side. North block. Oh, we're actually in the cave? Okay. I didn't actually expect to be in the cave. I thought I was just going to be in the next block of the, of the... God, this is straight out of Penumbra. God damn it. Straight out of Penumbra. You move out of the way. Fucking big ass rock, get out of the way. Oh my god, these rocks are not cooperating. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Where is we now? I mean, I'm certain there's still more of those dudes wandering around. Gates locked. Padlock is in excellent condition. That one won't budge. If it's in excellent condition, what the hell does that matter? Do I need a stronger hammer? Maybe later it won't be in, in excellent condition for whatever reason. Hey, 
Hello. Ooh, better. 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening, and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. Yeah, it's your fault. And don't try to act like it's not. 100% your fault. It is your fault. Did you do that? It is your fault. Yes, you did that. It is your fault. More oil, please. I keep finding like the way to make progress I'm sure I've missed plenty of like item pickups for healing and and refills of kindles and stuff like this room especially this doesn't feel required at all but maybe it is that's probably not you don't want to touch that you don't want to touch that that doesn't look good that doesn't look like a good idea that looks like the fire you don't want to touch that It's a life pot, yeah. The fact that you just said that, Crystal, 100% not going to touch it now. So good job on that. If it actually is a life pot, it's your own fault for saying anything. Okay, so this room just had a bunch of stuff in it, which is good. I needed the stuff, so I'm not complaining. But that's all it looks like. Nothing else up in here. Well, I had a letter. That was, I guess that was the main thing. I just found a letter. I just found a oh. oh. Fuck off. Ah! Motherfucker. I wasn't expecting you to actually get through the door. Ah! No! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm fucking dead now. I thought I was going to have time to close the door, man. He came at me so fast. So fast. <laughs> you have to carry on. <laughs> yes, I finally died a third time. You're, you're finally correct, Crystal. You did it. Congratulations. So wait. Did it save me picking up any of that stuff? I think so, right? Wait. No. I don't have... Well, yeah. Mm? I think it did save me picking up that stuff. Okay, apparently that guy comes out of that door. Or he comes from this way. He might come from up here. Maybe. I figure he busted out of that door. Help me. Help you? I don't want to help you. ways to go right now. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. I hope this guy's actually dead. That'd be terrifying if he actually jumped alive right now. Another one of these, huh? Hey! Anybody! Help! Christ! Christ! Why do this? Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be! Do I deserve this? 
It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. He should have known better, man. How dare he not know better? I thought I saw something in here. Let's wait for the cutscene to end. Is there a thing under here that I fucked up on? Ah, oh, just moldy bread, okay. Alright, let me go further down here, I guess. Well, another letter? 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite, and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the That's sun sets true. on Brennenburg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Just in time. Indeed. Who would disagree with that sentiment? It's interesting that everyone in this game speak English even though uh, they're in a Hungary-based area. Hungary. Yeah, I guess that's interesting. Let me see if that guy goes away. He's coming right at me. Did he turn? I can't tell if he turned or not. I don't think he's coming down this way. Did he go in that room, maybe? My only problem is I don't know which way he went. Should probably not sit in the hallway for long, though. There's so many games set in non-English speaking areas where the characters speak English for convenience. No shit, Sparty. No shit. He slid through the pipes. I don't need your shit right now, Crystal. He slid through the pipes. Shit it. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Who's talking? I'm gonna go this way. This is a lot of directions. Soon it will be ready. Let there be enough time. In poor condition? No. Needs to be weakened further. Okay. Can I throw something at it? Hmm. Hey, you! Stop! What? Don't come any closer. I just want to leave. You can't go outside. It's too dangerous. I'm telling Gabriel. I doubt that very much. <laughs> Where is he now? Man, the cutscene makes the fucking game like pretend it doesn't even know how to play. Uh oh. Is there a guy behind me? That hallway was pretty long.
I don't think there's any items on the floor here. Well, I'm not seeing a guy over here. I guess that doesn't mean there wasn't one. using my always left strats. Oh. Uh. Ah, dicks. So he was all the way down there. The guy's getting pretty scared now, dude. Don't worry, broski. 4th of August, we gotta 1839. Read. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffered death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. At a price. Everyone's got a price for the million dollar man. Is there a dude right there? Might be a dude right there. Also, Tara, thank you for the six bits. You didn't get me with that one. The Jason one got me way hard earlier. That one didn't get me. But thank you for the six bits. Oh, that was dumb. That was an idiot move. never find me in here. My guy is fucking terrified right now. It's so blurry again. I can't move for shit. Last jar. Interesting. I don't like when we're in this mode because the the joystick like you, you start flailing all over the place when you move. You can't sit the fuck still, you know? You know, we have some oil. Let's reload my shit. So what I have a glass jar, empty glass container. What would that be for? I don't know yet. Plenty of food to hide out in here. You right. Look at all this food. All this delicious, delicious food. Wait, what? Oh. I thought the door was locked for a sec. That was weird. Hoping lighting a light or two might actually help my goddamn sanity. My guy's going fucking scaredy mode right now. So I ran from over there. So I didn't go over here yet. Is this a different padlock? That's an excellent condition one. 
So when these things say they're in excellent condition, can I smash them with stuff? Like, I didn't try that yet. You just did this as a plain, blind playthrough also, Mirgle Schmirgle. That's cool. Welcome to the stream, Mirgle Schmirgle. How are you today? Still in excellent condition. Damn it. Two more guesses on the name. I don't know what you mean by guesses. Your name's not Mirgle Schmirgle. <laughs> That's how it's spelled. How else would you say it? I don't want to guess anymore. So the only idea I have left is to smash that other... Why would your name be Shmurgle Shmurgle? That's not how you say the name Shmurgle. Why would you spell it that way? It's not my fault you spelled your own name wrong. <laughs> Alright, so this is the one that was already poor conditioned. Yeah, but see, the thing is, have you played Pokemon? I'm assuming that's where you got the Schmeargle from. And if not, then you need to play Pokemon to understand why I think it's Schmeargle. I'm guessing this isn't how you do this, even though it feels like poor condition means bash it with something. In my mind, that's what that means, bash it with something. Padlock won't break, it needs to be weakened further. Yeah, exactly. So, like, what do I bash it with? I forgot. This was just a dead end, right? Oh, wait. There's a door over there. I don't want to go over there. You literally came up with the name on the spot. You played Pokemon, but you didn't connect the dots until after you made the name. Oh, well then. Well, you probably should expect people to pronounce it wrong, you know? That's how you spelled it, man. Yeah, dude. Break wooden pad or metal padlocks with wooden chairs. Isn't that what you do? That's what I do. Now, I'd like to carry a rock over there, but I haven't found anything to really pick up and carry over there other than a chair. Well, actually, wait. There was rocks in here. Oh, is that rock too heavy? Lame. Is there any rocks around here that aren't too heavy? Okay, what about a metal bucket? Will a metal bucket work? Plenty of people have gotten it right, too. Well, I'm going to blame that on the fact that those are people that haven't played Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, man. Mergle, Schmergle, Mirgle, Schmirgle, whatever, dude. It doesn't really matter. Your name is your name. I pronounce it how I read it. The end. I just don't know if I can mess with this excellent lock with a with anything. So, I guess I'm gonna... I don't know. Is there a fucking giant rock anywhere that I can carry? I am gonna try this bucket. I am. What else is around here? There doesn't seem to be any rocks I can carry around. Hmm. Just a pile of rocks I can't do anything with.
Yeah, if it says excellent, you probably can't bash it. Yeah, that's pretty much what I figured, DJ. I just, you know, I still gotta try. Oops. That was a, that was a brick. I can't help but wonder if this is doing nothing. <sighs> okay, I have one idea. Remember that one room I found? I would rather have zero tips, Mirgle, so shut please, please no more tips, tricks, hints, anything. But I already have an idea. I have an idea of what to do. I did pick up a glass bottle. Shit, I'm out of fucking... I didn't realize I was out of oil. Well, that's my fault. That's okay. We'll walk around without it for a minute. Um, I have an idea. But yes, this is a blind playthrough. Please don't even say anything unless I ask for it. Like, very very particularly say, hey, chat, how do I do this? Or give me a hint. Anyway, I know where I need to go. I just have to remember where the hell that was at because I've gone pretty far into this place now. How far back was that? Oh yeah, it was over here. Here we go, this room. It's gotta be this. So I kept trying to think, like, what am I supposed to fill? There's no guy in here, is there? Don't make sounds like there's a guy in here, you game. Game. Anyway. There's a guy. He's coming right at me. Fuck. I'm dead. I'm stuck. I'm fucking dead. Run, bitch, run. You're going to die. I definitely heard him, but I didn't know he was chasing me. Oh, it spawned me back here. What? What? Why did it spawn me back here? That's silly. Ow. What the fuck? Cut it out. Why is the... Oh my god, this sucks. This is sucky. Why did it spawn me back in there? I'm bleeding. Yeah, no shit, I'm bleeding quite badly all of a sudden. Garbage game. Anyway, whatever. I got what I needed. I'm out of here. the right one? I think it's right over here. Yup. Alright. <sighs> Did we do it yet? I think we got what we need here. Here we go. Severely weakened it. Does that mean now I use the... Do I use this now? Yay! Run, bitch, run! There's something chasing me, I know it. There's totally a guy behind me. I'm out. I'm out, bitch. I'm out. <laughs> you can stop with the music now. I already got out of there. Okay, welcome to... What they called the cistern. So you used the drain sewers as a means of transport? Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, 
and when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Well then. We're almost there. The question is, where is there? And how close are we? Yo no sé, but here we are in a new place. Um, I guess we'll look around for a bit. I'm actually also considering stopping pretty soon here. Lever stuck needs to be greased. Grease lightning. Or you know what? Who's got some butter? <laughs> Better yet, who's got the butter? No, don't worry. I'm not going to be done streaming, Shoddy. I'm just going to be done on this game. I'm actually planning to switch over to... I'm going to try and finish Zone of the Enders tonight. So I'll probably take a little bit of a break. Maybe go eat something. And then I'll be back. The water is too deep to traverse safely. Okay. Gotta drain that shit, I guess. Well, I didn't check the door over here, did I? That won't budge either. Okay. We need butter. Who's got butter? Said I needed grease? Like. When you say it needs to be greased up, can I bash it? Wait, the gears need to be greased. What gears? What gears are we talking about here? This thing? Or something over here? Years of war, sir. Maybe I could go back for more acid. I mean, I probably can, Crystal. Do I want to, though? Not particularly. If I have to go back for acid, then I'm, I'm done. I'm not going back to that right now. Wait. Here you go. I just noticed this is different than the water. Here you go. Now we can grease your bitch ass up. Here we go. And of course there's that thing in the way. Wait, what if I just keep bashing it? No, oh, go down. God damn it. Yeah, that shit's gonna break for sure. Break that shit, boy. Who put this? Who decided the pipe was in a good spot, anyways? All right. First step done. We got a ladder up here and another door over here. Aww. No. Two levers and a door. I don't know what that did, but it gave me a note. Oh, oh, that one did a thing. Ah, that lets you actually get over to there. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Big brain funky over here took a long time to figure that one out. Did it really take you that long to figure that one out? Have you played this before, Shoddy? I'm assuming it. I'm assuming that's a yes. Repair the machine at powering the eastern bridge. Enter the sewer. It first must be drained. Those are my two two clues right now. Well, let's check out the controller. Before I go check out the other one that I lowered. It's like we're in our next puzzle area.
can't be a horror lover without playing this game. I suppose that's true. I'm really not. Your so. bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. That's why it took me so long. Shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. It the looks shade ridiculous. will hurt much less than dying. I assure you. I assure you. Say that about a number of games. I mean, true. False. You love horror games, Allegory, but you don't love this one? Yeah, but have you played this one, Allegory? I think that was the point, right? This is like a staple of all the horror games ever made. A lot of people say this one's good, so horror people probably all play this one just to see, you know? Whether you like it or not, it's irrelevant. I mean, it's relevant, but it's, it doesn't really matter. It just matters, did you, did you try it? SCP Containment Breach is an amazing free one. I don't know if I've heard of that one. Or I should say, I think I've heard of that one, but I don't know if I've ever seen it played. You only played this game for like 30 minutes? Really? No. I mean, it's okay. Like I said, I'm not not, I'm not hating it. It's just, you know, it's alright. It is what it is. If I have to attach this somewhere or what? Oh, uh, there's nowhere to attach this here. All right. Well, this has probably got to go somewhere. I'll leave that right there for now. I see. If I open that door, I will be stuck in there. Assuming that there's not another way out. If you truly love the horror genre, you will enjoy this one. I mean, it depends what you mean by horror, right? Because, honestly, this ain't that scary. Like, there's been some jump scare stuff. And I guess when those guys are chasing you, that's kind of terrifying, but I don't know. I haven't found this to be particularly that scary. But again, I said, I said the same thing about Penumbra. Like, people think that's scary, and I'm like, eh, that's alright, I guess. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with these things yet. The scariest thing in this game is Daniel's hand. <laughs> I, I was talking shit on his hand earlier. That did happen. Okay, so these are... These are all different weights that I'm, like, lowering and... Raising and lowering, huh? Or not? Okay, I don't really know what purpose that serves. Not yet. But maybe we'll find out. Some pretty intense parts. Yeah, I mean, it's had a few moments. The water part in particular, where, the, where there was like a water monster chasing me, that part was probably the most intense thing so far. I might have to stop soon because this is going to be a whole thing and I can tell there's a lot going on here. Machine. The work I have put into this machine is unequaled by the reasoning of any man. The thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design is most tiring. The limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. It has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention the flow of tamed lightning, crudely replaced on by pressured steam pushing its way through pipes and turbines, shames me to think of what the inventor would have thought of any of my monster, where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts. I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron in the hopes that it will have even the tiniest hint of power found in a traveler's locket. Okay. course if you want to have a scary game you got to have good sound design to give you the atmosphere of being you know 
being immersed in the environment so you actually can be scared by something happening in it. That one's stuck. That one's stuck. That one's stuck. That one's stuck. Okay, those are all stuck in place. I guess we're never going to do anything with those ever, ever, right? Ever? I mean, the scariest game I played was way after I played a bunch of horror stuff. My, and it's not even considered a horror game. Fucking Subnautica terrifies me, bro. That game scared the shit out of me. That game truly scared me. Because that's actual, like, real fears coming up, you know what I mean? We're all scared of something, bro. Subnautica scared the shit out of me. I was legit most the, the most fear I had in a, vid in a video game and not even just like particular moments the whole game I was like just terrified the whole time just worried I'm gonna fucking just get mangled I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with this shit either I'm just hitting switches is it maybe oh maybe it has to match the one on the other side the other side matched exactly that. I remembered. Okay, so that's probably in position. Whatever the f I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just doing a thing, y'all. Subnautica's horror... Oh, hold on. Another scene. Herbert, how did we find this place? An old friend back in Algiers gave me a map. Why isn't he with us? Didn't he want to come? He wanted to, Daniel, but things don't always turn out the way we plan. Never turns out the way you plan. So yeah, Subnautica had different moments where it was terrifying. Going into the dead zone, the, the fucking blood kelp zone, every zone. Any zone that had potential danger, which was like 90% of the zones. <laughs> actually more like 75. I was terrified. Once I learned what, the, what, what kind of dangers awaited me, I was just scared all the time. Silent Hill 1, I will admit, was a little scary because it was the first time I played a Silent Hill game and I didn't know what to expect. Um, Resident Evil 1 got me a lot because it was the first one I did on my channel, so I just, you know, didn't know what to what what to anticipate. But I kind of fell in love with, with the Resident Evil style of the first game. Like, I like that game. At least the remake, I like it. I don't know if I would like the, re the original one very much. If I actually tried to play the whole thing. Beyond good sound design, Amnesia has some nice descriptions for some pretty disturbing practices. I guess. The remake was really amazing. Yeah, I like the remake a lot. It tells the story better than the original because there's better voice acting and stuff too. I don't know why that had a blue glowy light on it. Maybe I need this or something? I haven't really found anywhere to use these pipes. I can't but wonder if I need them. Oh, I can totally go back. I didn't even notice. Okay, so I, I feel like I activated what I needed to here, so we can go back. Do I need that other pipe, though? You know what? I might. Let's be smart. Let's go get that pipe and actually bring it in here. Because, you know, whether I need it in here, over there, over wherever, this area seems like we're good. Oops. Didn't mean to let go. Obviously, yes. We shouldn't be talking about anything later in the game yet. Uh, Mergle Schmergle. So I haven't figured out what the fuck to do with these weights yet. Unless, wait, can I move these ones? Maybe I can't move these ones. Ah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Match the other side. Okay, so... From this direction, 
The one that's closest is like right at eye level. The one that's in the middle is up above the pipes. And the one on the farthest is right below the pipes. Got it. So, this one should be at eye level. Wait, that moves that one, right? So the furthest one should be right below the pipe. Right there. This one should be eye level. Eye level. Yep, that's about right. Like if I'm right here, it's at eye level, or is it? it might be. Mm, that's probably right. Can I move this middle one then? Okay, now it works. Done. Perfect. So I'm guessing that activated the machine for the bridge. I guess. Daniel, is that you? What are you doing? Don't worry about what I'm doing, sir. Well, that probably went a lot smoother than it should have, <laughs> to be honest. Kind of killed that puzzle. So if I hit this one, it also should come down. Nope. I'm missing something still, I guess. Maybe I didn't activate the actual machine. Let me um, check the other room. I'll come back to that. I want to see what's over here. The sister. Let's check it out. The purpose of the inner sanctum had always been to study the orbs and find a way to force them to yield their power. However, he was still unaware of this. However. <sighs> okay. Now I'm past the point where I actually wanted to stop, and I'm not sure how much longer I want to go. But I feel like I'm on a roll with this puzzling, so I'm like, just keep going, dog. You're conserving water from the spring. Yes, it enables me to control the water in the drain sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking? Yeah, well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. Ah, like water mills. Exactly. Sure. Like water mills. Sure. So is this the kind of water where if I go in it, we're going to get attacked? We'll find out. I don't hear anything chasing me immediately, so that's good. Up. Ha! Alright, we in there. There's something over here, so it's worth it. It's worth it. There's the creatures that will attack you in the water. Those motherfuckers. Anyway, oh, there's a piece of paper here, too. 7th of August, 1839. There is no denying that Alexander puts a lot of faith into what I can only describe as magic. I'm not surprised. Even while traveling across Europe, I assumed I would have to embrace the supernatural to save my mind and life. Oh, as a novice, I do everything in my power to stay focused and not dwell too much on my own doubts. Alexander woke me up early and told me it was time we got started on our work. He was obviously excited to get going, and we headed downstairs to the old dungeon, where he preferred to attempt his rituals. It turns out that Alexander is a true Renaissance man, paralleled Renaissance. only by Da Vinci, I'm sure. He showed me several rooms fitted for specific research, such as anatomy studies, alchemy, and botany. The crown of Brennenberg must be the inner sanctum, a most hallowed ground where we shall attempt to permanently banish the orb's shadow. Permanently. Uh... I hope that was a good idea. 
The music would make me think it wasn't, but I guess that was a good idea. Begun to slowly fill the chamber. It has this chamber in particular. Can I get back across this way? Nope. Okay. What else is down here? More Tinder. I don't want to stay in the water for any longer than I need to. Just in case something does happen to come out. I can hit that rope with something. There's definitely a rope up there. I think it's a rope. It's either a rope or a chain. Either way. If you break it, you can probably get it to fall. Maybe I can throw a rock at it. Ah! I'm, why am I so smart? Why am I so smart? Uh, guess there's nothing over here. Okay, we're in. 8th of August, 1839. I could never be certain until today that I was on the right path. Using my orb, Alexander managed to channel its power unto us. The inner sanctum flared with blue, fiery light, and I could feel the same things I felt in the dark chamber in Algeria. It was like standing in a mad whirlpool of impressions. It was terrifying. But Alexander kept calm and wielded strange tools of science in order to tame the storm. Suddenly, the blue light was stained by strains of red, and the walls burst with pulsating tissue resonating with the scene. Alexander quickly covered the orb in some cloth, and the unspeakable thing vanished. Apparently, the orb's shadow is closer than Alexander thought. He said I should prepare for a warding ritual tomorrow. I'm not sure what he expects, but I have a bad feeling about this. Me too, bro. Me too. The worst feeling, in fact. Oh, I actually see fish in the water. That's interesting. Still feel like I probably shouldn't go down there. I mean, I assume all of this water situation is to drain the water on the other side, so I can actually go down into the sewer or whatever. I assume that's what this is all for. Well, last but not least, there's whatever's over there. I have no idea if anything was chasing me. Is this gonna hurt? Oh, 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 what's oh, that? Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Well, that didn't go well. Well, now I'm dying, so. Cool. Got 
work on the timing better. I didn't expect it to start back up so quickly. Turn it, you fool. Turn it! Oh my god, sometimes. I turned off the steam? Turned off the steam, okay. Last note. 9th of August, 1839. It is still early, and Alexander is busy preparing for the ritual later today. Seeing him this worked up makes me question why. What does he stand to gain? I realize he is curious about it all, but surely there must be more. Is he so foolish he will attempt to tame the power of the orb? I must admit that yesterday, when Alexander flooded the inner sanctum with blue light, I realized we had but graced the orb's true potential. This might turn out to be more than escaping a creeping shadow. It might be the beginning of something truly extraordinary. 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 So wait, I just came over here for that? Oh, no, there was another thing over here. Nice toast. What the actual fudge? This is a game you're helping out play? The meme game? I mean, here I am playing it. I don't... I mean, like... This was, this has been on the list for... Since February. I just haven't gotten to it until today. It's the last game on the list. Anyway, I guess that's the water. Yeah, I'm not sure why you're calling it meme game either, but... I mean... Again, I don't know if there's something after me. Not gonna wait to find out. Just gonna move quickly. Get the fuck out of here. Cause we are done. See ya. He said fudge and his name is Nice Toast. Oh yeah. Let's Plays blew up because of this game. I agree on that. 100%. You can thank PewDiePie. Markiplier and all the above for that shit. I agree on that wholeheartedly. Okay, question. What the fuck did I miss in here? Also, I didn't... Sorry, Shadi. I did forget to answer your question. Are the regulars not into horror? Uh, I don't know. For the most part, no. I would say no, Shoddy. Uh, but yeah, Sunday streams are usually a little bit more chill than uh, Saturday anyways. It's just the chat is usually less active. I'll have people watching. They just don't always have... They're not always as talkative as they are on Saturdays. So wait. Okay, so I activated both of these things. What else is there to do in here then? I gotta double check that there was nothing else to do. I still maintain I was have to do something with these pipes, but I don't know what. Let me check this room in the back again. I don't remember what was in here. Ah! That's the answer. I got it. Easy. Easy. I put it on the wrong side, but I got it. Five Nights at Freddy's made the YouTube stuff blow up more. True. But Amnesia kind of started it. The horror, like the horror, uh, everybody was playing the horror games. Five Nights at, I think Five Nights at Freddy's capitalized because people were playing stuff like this and Slender Man. Slender Man was a big one too. So, people got, you know, all hype about those kind of games, and then Five Nights at Freddy's came out and blew everybody who was, like, into that, doing those types, to blow the fuck up. And, of course, obviously, there's more other games, but I'm just saying, like, those are the ones I can think of that even I saw, uh, like, a lot of people do. 
Okay, so this one's gotta go... How do I know which one's which? They all look kind of the same to me. Does it matter which one's which? Well, this one's wider for sure, or like, sticks out further. The first one you've ever watched me play was the Resident Evil 1, nice toast, so you consider me a horror gamer who plays other things. Well, that is an interesting way to put it since I've played way more other things. Also, I think we're missing some pipes. Does it matter how I put these up here? Do they just fit in automatically? I'm missing a pipe. Markiplier is so cringy. Mark is less cringy than some of the others. He has his moments where he's going too hard. I'll agree on that. But he's definitely not as bad as some. He certainly has his moments, but don't we all? for a missing piece. Missing a piece. Missing a piece. Where is it at? I didn't realize I was missing it, so I probably just overlooked it earlier, not even thinking. Yeah, Markiplier is definitely one of those guys who will do the voice inflection stuff pretty often. I mean, even I do it sometimes, but not like... It just depends how hyped up I am when I'm playing the game. I don't think I'll do that in this game at all unless we're in like an intense moment. This game's got too much, like, chill, puzzle-solving downtime to get all hyped up for, I mean, for not, I mean, for any more than a few seconds at any time. But I think, I feel like Markiplier has a very, uh... His deep voice is very pleasant to listen to. The heck is this last pipe I'm missing, man? I hope I'm missing a pipe. Wait, does this count? These don't count. Alright. Too big. Can't move them. Hmm. Well. Where'd that pipe at, though? You don't want to get me in trouble, you still stop talking shit on other Let's Players? That's okay, I'm too small potatoes for any other Let's Players that are bigger than me to really give a fuck what I have to say. They're not going to take anything that I criticize them or say about them to heart, I'm sure. People have said much worse. I have said nothing harsh about any of them. And and if, and if a big YouTuber who has cringy ass stuff doesn't think that their cringy ass stuff is cringy, then, well, that's their own problem. I don't care. I didn't say anything disparaging about anybody. You know what I'm saying? Who I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm saying disparaging about myself because I can't find this fucking last piece of pipe I need. Where the fuck is it? Am I supposed to break pipes? Break shit? Remember in, in Penumbra when I had to break shit? Maybe I have to break shit. Maybe that's a thing. Probably not, but... One can hope. I'm a 
gentleman and a scholar. Nah, I just don't give a shit if people are mad about, you know, when they get criticized about whatever. Like, I, I'm gonna be mad about it. Whatever. Alright, hold up. Let me make sure I'm even doing this room right. Maybe I already have what I need, I just fucked it up. Or maybe it's in here and I just missed it. You definitely can't mess with any of this. I'm gonna feel dumb if it is in this room, though. It's definitely not. Okay. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I'm just putting it in wrong. Yeah, I am putting it in wrong. Am I? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, the two on the left don't matter. Am hold up. How do I twist this thing? Am I sure that that's already not correct? Maybe it's already correct. Oh, it's the opposite side! I'm stupid. That's why. Wow. All that looking around for nothing. Motherfucker. Oh, go fuck yourself. Wait, why don't I have any oil? Hello? Oh my god, the game just like took a shit there. I thought I was gonna I thought I was gonna crash. Yeah, I could have accidentally gotten that also, I just didn't. It is broken beyond repair. So I have to find another way? Maybe I have to shove something else in there? Wait, wooden crank for a machine. When the fuck did I get that? Okay, apparently I already have what I need. I just didn't realize. Well then. I kind of forgot I even had that. There you go. Oh, god damn. Okay. So now I should be able to hit this other switch. I can also go down in the sewers. I don't know which part is required, or if they both are. They both are. One probably helps you figure out the other, I'm sure. What? Uh. That didn't come down all the way. Hello? Uh. Hello? Need a push to dislodge. Okay. A push, you say? Okay. throw a brick at it will that work I threw a brick in the air what kind of brick it doesn't matter cuz a brick is just a brick and <laughs> can I go back up here I don't know if I can throw it high enough yeah I don't think I can throw it high enough I could probably get it up there though so I can throw it high enough so like if I throw it up on the ledge so if I throw it over here like, ha! Oh, come on. It's too far away. Alright, there we go. 
Remember when I said I was almost done playing this? It's just because I'm getting into the puzzle and I just want to do it. I might stop when I'm almost done with this puzzle or if I get stumped again. It's just because I'm making progress. So do I just hit it with this? Okay. Oh shit! I didn't do that. Actually, that was a complete accident. Thank you. Just broke both my ankles. Don't mind me. If there was ever a moment where I want to take the L, now's the moment. Finish after I'm done with this puzzle. You want to go to bed? Fucking go to bed then. Don't, don't wait on me, bro. I don't know if I'm even supposed to do this. I'm just trying this and seeing if this will work. Okay. Uh, I don't have any more heals either, so now I'm all just hurt and I can't do anything about it. I love it. Um. Um. About to bring everything I possibly can with me up there. Just try it all. Maybe I have to counterweight and just throw a bunch of shit on there, you know what I mean? It's like a fucking scale. Alright. Hopefully that will be enough. Hey, Rio. Thank you for the host, my friend. Did you finish that weird Resident Evil game? Yes! I don't know if it required the rock specifically, but it worked. Let's go. To the morgue! Oh, God, the morgue? Jesus. I don't even know if I want to go in here right now. You didn't finish it? Did you just quit, or did you not? Were you not able to? Like, what happened? Oh, the game crapped out with an infinite loading screen. Oh, that's lame. That is unfortunate to hear. Do you see, Daniel? Do you it see? Yielded. What? The shadow. It has. For now. Come. Let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come. Let's get going. You did well. Well, actually. If this is on like a whole other section, maybe I should just stop here. It kind of sucks that I'm hurting right now, but maybe this is a good place to stop. I'm going to go ahead and hit that light, though, anyways. I know you just raided me, Rio, but I am going to take a break for a minute. Um, anyway, you streamed again. Street Fighter V story mode is sort of a celebration to your very first stream three years ago when you first attempted. Cool, man. Street Fighter V. I'm assuming you didn't stream Street Fighter V three years ago, or that's the same thing you tried three years ago. Um, but anyway, that's all for Amnesia for today. I think we're going to stop right here. I can tell that most of you guys are hanging out or enjoying this immensely. Um, sorry for those of you who are waiting for me to just keep playing this for the day. I already pretty much said I wasn't going to play this all day, but I figure I made a pretty good dent into the game. I don't know how much longer it will take me, but I think next Sunday we will finish this game up for sure. I will play it until we're done. Um, so yeah. If you missed anything, feel free to hit up the VOD or watch it when I post it on YouTube later. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching Amnesia so far, and I'll see you guys next week to finish it up. Peace out.